Hi everyone, head golf professional Tim Harris here with another modernized rule of golf starting January 1st, 2019. The rules of golf have changed a little bit. Uh, we're gonna talk today about penalty areas again, but I'm gonna talk to it specific to Pelican Sound as a local rule, okay? So as everyone understands, uh, the term hazard is no longer in the definitions for rules of golf. We call areas that are marked with a red stake or a red line penalty areas. So uh, I'm gonna show you an example here. Uh, we're along the side of a fairway and we have some red stakes that define the penalty area, okay? We have one red stake a little bit further down over here and this one right here. And you can see my ball over here is inside those red stakes. So under the new rules of golf, you can remove loose impediments. You can ground your club in a penalty area. So when I go ahead and hit this shot, if there's anything you know, obstructing my ball, I'm gonna go ahead and remove those before I hit the shot. So, you know, things such as straw, pine straw, that considered a loose impediment, I can go ahead and hit that. But let's say there's an area of the golf course where there are no red stakes or red lines. So just for the purposes of this, let's say that the red stakes were not here, okay? And I remove the stake. And my ball's sitting over here, but there are no red stakes or lines, so I really don't know if that's a penalty area. Well, at Pelican Sound, we are going to determine that penalty areas are gonna be defined by any turf rough cut height or fairway cuff hut, cut height if there's no turf that's going to be a part of a penalty area look you can ground your club anyway you can remove loose impediments so let's say that my ball is in here and there's no red lines or stakes but my ball is laying not on turf then i'm going to consider that a penalty area and i can go ahead and ground my club anyway but let's say that my ball was up in here okay and it was in this uh grass and i couldn't put my club on it well, I can go ahead and this is gonna be the definition of the penalty area where the, the turf, the rough cut height, meets the non-turf. And I can go ahead and under penalty of one stroke, I can drop the ball outside here. Okay, so always remember you get two club lengths where it last crossed the margin. And for this purpose, the margin is going to be where the grass stops and where the non-turf goes this way. So there are a lot of areas at Pelican Sound where that takes place, where you have turf that is maintained, whether it's fairway or rough. Anything that is not grass, basically, that is not cut at fairway uh, height or rough height is considered a penalty area. Uh, so there will be further examples uh, throughout the course that we are gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna do a seminar coming up, look for the dates for that about the new rules of golf and we'll also have some literature out about it too. But at Pelican Sound, if you don't see grass, consider it a penalty area. Then you have to look for the boundary where the grass and the non-grass uh, non kind of meet, okay? Uh, we have a further explanation of the rules as far as penalty areas attached to this video as well from the USGA. We hope you enjoy that.